want to talk about um, the challenges that we have with school bus drivers or the lack thereof. So Ryan Dellinger, who's the executive director of the Pennsylvania School Bus Association, um, cited data from the State Department of Motor Vehicles that there were 42,464 licensed school bus drivers in the Commonwealth entering this school year, the 2021-2022 school year. He indicated that there are 2,000 uh, drivers short across the state, and we know that the number of school bus drivers has been steadily declining since about 2018. So in my Senate district, the driver vacancy rate has doubled since the start of the pandemic, even when those school districts reduced um, their school bus routes by about 10 to 20 percent. So back in October, PennDOT and Department of Education announced a plan to contact the 356,000 CDL holders in the Commonwealth to ask them to consider working as a school bus driver. Ten days later, Red News reports that about 1,500 CDL license holders inquired about those openings. It's now four months later. Could you provide us with an update on that? You know, how many CDL holders have inquired, and I think more importantly, how many have accepted employment as a result of this initiative? Certainly, and I, I do want to also, uh, I'll invite Dr. Smith and others to, to share, but I do want to also point out the collaboration that this was a partnership with the Department of Transportation as well. Uh, so they deserve just as much credit for the work that we have done. But do we have any updates to be able to share, Sherry? I do. Oh. Um, I actually uh, reached out to our um, intermediate units to see if we get some kind of update to see um, how, what the significance of the, the transportation or the uh, bus driver shortages are right now. And so um, we only have 15 out of the 29 that are reported at this point in time. But know that um, what I was felt better about was that um, out of their 67% um, of those, so 10 out of the 15 IU areas indicated that the situation has improved. Um, based on that, um, they're still experiencing some shortages, um, but um, their situations are, are better than, than they were. Um, then the other five indicated that they still have significant bus driver shortages. So we have a way to go um, is the way it's, it's looking. We'll continue to gather that information and uh, be willing to, to make sure that we share that with you. I, I would very much appreciate that. Um, I know there, there was a, a recent Spotlight PA news article where PennDOT's Deputy Secretary Kurt Myers was quoted as saying, and I quote, school districts can use federal emergency relief funds to reimburse parents or guardians who transport their children to and from school. Um, knowing the strain that our school district transportation directors are under, um, has there been any thought of relief to recruit, retain, incentivize uh, school bus drivers in the Commonwealth? And um, ha has any of that been proposed in this budget? In terms of the last part of the question, has it been posed in the budget? I believe the question would, like the answer would be no at the moment. But in terms of conversations we've had, Senator, uh, you want to shed light on those as well, Sherry? I would tell you that some of our schools have incentivized by paying parents to transport their students. So um, they've got very creative. Um, they've tried different scheduling with students at different times to bring them in. Um, and But that has been one of the um, alternatives that I've heard quite frequently actually across the Commonwealth for folks that are paying their, their parents if, um, if they can transport their students. And that's using federal emergency relief dollars. And so that is that is temporary or permanent? I would, I would imagine for our schools, and I, I'm, this is just what I'm thinking right now, don't know this for a fact, but I would think that that would be a temporary solution right now until they're able to get their bus drivers um, back up to a normal level um, and then, you know, re remove, that, um, remove that from the parents. Okay, very good. Thank you. I appreciate that insight.